Birmingham City are back in business. TCFC. Welcome to TCFC, my name is Tom and today we're going to be talking about yesterday's victory over Reading FC and of course the triumphant return of Lee Bowyer. Uh, so uh, just before we get started, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to TCFC, helps the channel grow immensely. Um, On to the game, so we played 4-4 fucking 2. Absolutely fantastic, and I think we've all been wanting to see that all season. Well, most of us anyway. Um, so I think that everyone's in a good mood to see that. Um, the players looked in very high spirits at the start of the game, and um, it started brilliantly. I, I, to see Lukas Jukovic score a headed goal at the back post, I think it was just absolutely brilliant. It, you know, it shows the people who think that Jukovic is finished that he is not. I always believed in you, buddy. Check out my video for proof. Um, so, you know, we got the lead. Um, we, after that, they did put pressure on, um, as to, to, be, to be expected. Um, they piled on the pressure, and eventually the pressure did tell, and Reading got their equaliser. Um, you know, there was some confusion in the box, but I'm hoping that Bowyer will be able to iron out some of the uh, defensive kinks that we definitely have left over from Karanka. Um, so at one all, we went into half time having undergone a lot of pressure, and I think we were all happy for the second half, first half to end. And as we came out the second half, Reading continued to pile on the pressure, but we did not capitulate, something we normally do under Karanka. So that's a great sign from Boya that we're not, like, you know, we normally came out the second half asleep and conceded in the first 10 minutes, a very classic Karanka thing to do. But none of that, we resisted. Um, and then the game went into one of those sort of quiet periods, um, which normally results in the other team scoring, again, like <laughs> under Karanka. Um, but instead, something else happened. We scored! I couldn't believe it! And you know what? If there's one player who I wanted to score, it'd be Harley Dean. And oh, that shrug celebration, brilliant. Absolutely loved it, Harley. Um, so yeah, that, that was, it was a fantastic header as well. Um, and I'm just delighted for Harley. So well done to you. Uh, and yeah, and at 2-1 up, we just strangled the game. We always squeezed the life out of it. And, you know, I think under Lee Bowyer, we're not going to have the most entertaining football. But uh, he'll take us up the table. And I, I really have so much hope at the moment. Um, I think he, there's so much about him that reminds me of, of Rauer and a bit of Monk as well. But I think the style of play is, is very rarity. Um, and yeah, that was it. He just, the game, they didn't really have any chances. It's possible that they should have had a penalty. But um, you know, overall, I was I was delighted, and I am just filled with positivity. Um, I'm absolutely in love with Lee Bowyer at the moment, and um, I'm just glad that I don't feel sorry for the players like I did before. Like Lukas Jukovic, I'm sick of feeling sorry for him. I want to love him again, and I do love him. So that was the game. Um, not much more to say other than obviously you can see that I'm just really really happy. Um, so yeah. Thanks for watching Up The Blues. That was my review. Keep it on to the end of the road and have a great day.